everyone, welcome to your Max Home Learning video for Wednesday the 31st of March. And fingers crossed, this is our last home learning video, hopefully forever, if not for a very, very long time. We made it, so a big well done. Right, we are learning in our blue maths booklet today and we are on pages 22 and 23 where we'll be carrying on from number bonds. So this week we've worked really hard in practicing our number bonds to 10. We're going to move on today and we're going to find some number bonds to 20. So a big well done for those of you who've been emailing in this week. I saw some brilliant flower pots of your number bonds yesterday. So a big thumbs up if that was you. You should be an expert today. So here's our catchy video that will help you with your number bonds. But I'm sure you know it already. One and nine, two and eight, one and nine, two and eight, one and nine, two and eight, three and seven. Number pairs that make ten. Number pairs that make ten. Four and six, five and five, four and six, five and five, four and six, five and five, three and seven. We're number pairs that make ten. Number pairs that make ten. Okay, so we should know our number bonds, and I'm sure we're getting really, really good at them in knowing them off by one heart. and nine. So here we have the number bond rainbow, and we see this in our classrooms at school, so we should all be familiar with it. So we know that 0 and 10 is 10, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, and 5 and 5 is 10. And on the other side of the rainbow, we've got the opposite. So if we know that 1 and 9 is 10, we can switch that around, and we also know that 9 and 1 is 10. And if we know that 2 and 8 is 10, we also know that 8 and 2 is 10 because we just switch the numbers around and we've still got 10. So we're getting really, really good at our number bonds to 10 and we're starting to know them off by heart. So we can use those number bonds to help us with other number facts and number sentences. So we're going to have a look today at number bonds to 20. So the first number bond to 20 I'm going to show you is 10 and 10 is 20. So you can see we've got 10 red counters and 10 yellow counters and two tens, 10 and 10 is 20. So that's the first number bond. The next one we're going to look at is this one. So you can see if we look at the 10 frame on this side, so the yellow and the red ones that I'm circling now, that number bond shows 1 and 9. So 1 and 9 we know is 10. That 10 frame is full, so we've got 10. 1 and 9 is 10. Well, on the other side, we've got all of the red counters and that 10 frame's full, so we know we've got 10. So if we put those red counters on, we've got 11 and 9. So we've got 11 red counters and 9 yellow. So you can see here, if I get my coloured pen, you can see we've got 10 red counters here. The 10 frames full, so we've got 10. 
and another red one here, so 10, 11. Okay, now because we've got a 1 and a 9, so we've got this one red counter and the nine yellow counters, we know 1 and 9 makes 10. And then we've got the other 10 here, look, and the 11, so the other 10 is here. So 11 and 9 is going to be 20. So we know that 1 and 9 is 10. So 11 and 9 is 20. And if we carry this on, 21, we added another 10. So let's imagine, I'll draw a 10 frame there. You imagine you've got 10 more counters in that 10 frame. 21 add 9 would be another 10. So we add 10 with 1 and 9. 11 and 9 is 20, so 10, 20. 21 and 9 would be 30. 31 and 9 would be, you can work it out. So we had 10, then we had 20, then we had 30. Another 10 would be 40. So whenever we've got 1 and 9 in our 1s, we can put that number bond together because we know 1 and 9 makes 10. So we know that 11 and 9 is 20. Let's look at the next one then. So there we've got 2 and 8 is 10. So this 10 frame here shows 2 and 8 is 10. But we've got an extra 10 here. So if we know that 2 and 8 is 10, then 12 and 8 is going to be 20 because we've got that extra 10 there, Luke. So this is our extra 10, and we can see that the 2 and the 8 are 10, and the other 10 is 20. So 2 and 8 is 10, so 12 and 8 is 20. The next one then, we've got 3 and 7 is 10. It's a number bond we know. So on your right board, what will be the number bond to 20? And if you're a bit unsure, count up how many red counters you've got all together. Count them up now for me. And then when you've got that number, you can write it on your board. If you need to pause my video so you've got a bit more time, you can pause now. Well done, if you know, we've got 13 red counters because we've got the 10 frame that's full, that's 10. Count on, 11, 12, 13. So we've got 13 red counters. So I know we've got 20 all together there because we've got two full 10 frames. So we've got 20 all together. So how many then do we need to put to 13 to get to 20? So remember, three and what make 10? Three and seven. So it would be 13 and seven. And seven is the number of yellow counters we've got. Make 20. So if we know that three and seven is 10, then 13 and seven is 20. Because we know that three and that seven make another 10. And we also know that 10 and 10 is 20. Okay, let's look at the next one then. So if we know that 4 and 6 is 10, what makes 20? So 4 and 6 is 10. What would be the number bond to 20? Count up those red counters for me. How many have you got all together? Well done if you know it's 14. So 14 add something is 20. So we need to find the number bond to 10. So we've got four there, Luke. How many do we need to add to four to make another 10? Well do you, done if you know it's four and six. So if we know that 
four and six is 10. 14 and six is 20. Okay, let's look at one more then. So we've got our number bond, five and five is 10. Now let's find a number bond that links to 20. So how many red counters have we got all together there? So we add five, or we've got five on this side, look, five red counters. And with the 10 frame is full. So what is that all together? Well done, if you know that it's 15. So we've got 15 red counters. And how many more will make 20? I'm sure you figured it out. It's five because if we've got five in our ones in 15, five and five make 10. So 15 and five make 20. Okay, so there are more number bonds to 10. So if we know that 15 and 5 is 20, we'll also know that 5 and 15 is 20 because we can switch it around. If we know that 11 and 9 is 20, because we've got the one and the nine there, we could also work out that 19 and we've got that nine there. So we just need the one now. So 19 and one is 20 because we've got the nine and the one. So you can find all of your number ones to 20 on page 22 today. So if you have a good look at all of those number ones and work them out, and you will start to spot a pattern. So zero and 20 is 20. One and 19, two and 18, three and 17, four and 16. The next one would be five and 15 because it is going in a pattern loop, so zero and 20. One, whoops, one and 19. I will get better at using this pen here, one. Sorry if my numbers look a bit funny. Two and 18. So you can see it's going in a pattern. So the numbers, here we've got 0, 1, 2. The next one will be 3. And then on the other side, we've got 20, 19, 18, 17. So our number 1 to 20 can be found by using the pattern. So make sure you have a good look at page 22. And that should then help you in completing page 23, where you've got to match up of the missing numbers you've got to find all of your number bonds to 20 well that one will be really really easy if you use this helpful page here to find all the correct ones and then you can fill in the numbers at the bottom but this page should be a big help and remember your number bonds to 10 because they will really help you too have a lovely day and i will see you tomorrow at school We've got a really fun day of Easter crafts. We've got an Easter egg hunt. We are going to do some nice activities and catch up with all of our friends. It will be lovely. So I will see you tomorrow.